Welcome to Going Carborn, Thailand. Uh, it's a beautiful day, wonderful day. And I'm going to tell you that yesterday was wonderful too. A uh, little funny story. Noise Apple Watch had a conniption fit. Now, if you don't know what a conniption fit is, it's where the watch thinks you're dying and nine times it called the police department. And I don't know what it said to him, but it called him and, and freaked Noy out because she said the police could get really mad for, for making prank calls to the police. And then it just totally crapped out. Dun, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's dead. Now, if you happen to have an Apple phone and you don't have an Apple Watch, you have no idea the functionality you're missing with the integration of the Apple Watch and the Apple phone. I mean, on here, I see the temperature today. I touch it and I see what temperature it is right now, what temperature it's gonna be at 1 p.m., 35 degrees Celsius. And uh, the low last night was 28 degrees Celsius, which uh, that's like 83 degrees was the low last night. And then you can touch the button and check your heart rate. You can touch a button and get a translator app you can touch a button and, and do like uh, walkie talkie to Noi. I also have the, Shaz the Shazam app. That if I'm listening to music, I hear a song, and I don't remember who did it, or I'd like to know who did it. I just hit, hit the button on my phone and it listens to the music and tells me who the artist is through the Shazam app right on the, the integration from the phone. But even more importantly, you can just pull down from the top, get your notifications from email, from Twitter, from uh, Patreon, from X. You, you can get text messages. You can reply to text messages by voice or by, uh, I mean, you can do everything. Anybody who's got an iPhone and didn't get the Apple Watch for functionality, is just missing out on a ton. A functionality so with that and the lying scale who's now stuck in the 150 kilogram range instead of the 160 kilogram range thanks for watching this morning Uh, they were ordered by a landlord at our request, and they said they went through three or four companies before they found ones that they absolutely love. But they literally took every piece of the air conditioner out of the ceiling. And we got six air conditioners in this place. But typically, we only use two every day. One in the main room and one in the bedroom. Those are the only two we typically ever use. If it gets really, really, really hot, we might have to turn on another one in the main room because there's three in the main room. Uh, there's one close over the dining room. There's one close over my desk. And there's one in the center of the room that's actually received to the ceiling. And uh, they took every piece of that thing down. And I'm going to show you the video as I'm talking here. And... It's been speeded up because they actually spent two and a half hours with two guys here to do two air conditioners. And they literally hang this, this fabric funnel up underneath the air conditioners. And it hooks up to them. And then they run a hose in through a door with a high pressure washer. And they wash the coils on the inside of the units that's in the house. And they, wash, they pressure wash these coils, and then they pressure wash the coils on the outside of the house. Now, this was just a cleaning. They didn't do any maintenance because they were working fine. 
But they cleaned them, and they spent two and a half hours to clean two of them with two guys. Total cost, approximately 55 U.S. dollars. Unbelievable. And they didn't, they did not drop a drop. They're using a pressure washer inside the house on the units, and there wasn't a drop of water on the floor. Nowhere. Unbelievable. So it's that time of year. If you want to save on your electric bills, now I know electrics went up a hell of a lot in the United States. It costs a, a lot of money. Now, the electric on this pool villa here comes out to, to just around, uh, I think we paid just around 200 a month last month for the electric. And, and we're not, we're not shy on the electric here because we use the electric range all the time with this carnivore diet and we use the air fryer all the time and we've got the sous vide running for 25 hours or more for each steak. So we're not shy on electricity. It was just about 200 bucks here. And the big thing here in where I'm at, the house is on both sides of of this house, not this house, but on both sides, have solar power to help lower the bills. Now, this being a rental unit, the landlord hasn't invested in solar power on this one, but I wish they would. It's pretty cool. Anyway, you've, you've been watching a speeded up version of them cleaning that air conditioner. I just wanted to remind you that if you're living wherever you're living, summer's coming. It'll it's probably worth it on the equipment to maintain it well, and you probably will save the cost of your maintenance just in the electric bill, plus the increased performance. It runs less. The compressor gets uh, less heat in it when the coils are cleaned. Uh, it makes a tremendous difference. And the air conditioning technicians here in Thailand, these guys know what the hell they're doing. I mean, I guess when you've got every building in Thailand that's just loaded with air conditioning and no heating, the people who do air conditioning know their shit. Same in the cars. When we went out looking for trucks, a week ago or two weeks ago, every single truck we looked at, the air conditioner blew cold like the Arctic breeze. I mean, people here, uh, it's hot all the time. I mean, you know, we're running lows today. The, the low last night was about 28 degrees Celsius, which is, uh, 83 and the high is going to be 35 degrees Celsius, which is uh, 95. So they know their air conditioning here. And yeah, the scale's still lying. It's stuck again. Oh well, I'm waiting for it to unstick. <laughs> That's all, folks.